Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Well, today I'm listening to an artist that one of you recommended to me a long, long, long time ago. I want to say over a year ago, and I do apologize for taking that long to listen to this artist. There are honestly no excuses, but you were always in the back of my head. I added her to my list of artists to do, and I felt like now was the right time to finally check out some Nina Hagen. Yes, now, I know absolutely nothing about her. I've never heard her before. I don't know what her voice sounds like. I mean, I'm going into this completely blind. Nina Hagen is a German singer-songwriter and actress. She is known for her theatrical vocals and rose to prominence during the punk and new wave movements in the late 1970s and early 1980s. She was offered a record deal from CBS Records and formed the Nina Hagen Band. Their self-titled debut album was released in 1978 and then in 1982, Nina signed a new contract with CBS and released her debut solo album, Nun Sex Monk Rock, which is the album I will be listening to. This is the album that you suggested I listen to. One of you described her as Kate Bush's evil twin, so that piqued my interest. Now, Nun Sex Monk Rock came out in 1982, 40 years ago. And there are 14 tracks on the album for a total of 59 minutes. I'm very, very, very excited. I'm pumped. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. This was the same feeling I had when I listened to Kate Bush's Hounds of Love album. Now, that was the first time I'd ever heard Kate Bush. I knew nothing about her until one of you recommended that I should check out Hounds of Love from Kate Bush. And then I fell down the Kate Bush rabbit hole. And now I'm listening to some Nina Hagen. So let's dive right into it with track one, Anti World. Once upon a time, when Jesus was walking down this way on earth, he was possessed by that demon. He grows and possessed by a demon. Fire! Jesus said, and the demon went out into the pit. That was track one, Anti-World. Oh my god. It really does, I mean, she does... She does remind me of Kate Bush, but if Kate Bush was... Um... Just possessed of her fucking mind. Oh god, where's the holy water when you need it? Definitely very, very, very different, and... Um... Honestly, I mean... Obviously not really my cup of tea, but I really did enjoy hearing this for the first time. Once upon a time, when Jesus was walking down his way on earth, he met this man who was possessed by a demon, and Jesus asked the man, Why do you speak so funny, and why do you behave like that? And the man said, Well, Jesus, because I am possessed by a demon. Go out, Jesus said, and the demon went down into the pig, and the pig went running away screaming, and the man was free. Do you see? If you only could believe, Jesus said, everything is possible for those who believe. Okay, very interesting. 
Um, I mean, this is perfect Halloween music. <laughs> black hole, black magic, oh so tragic, anti-fantastic and anti-hell, glorious Bible, dynamic message. It's like to clean an anti-mess. Anti-world, anti-world, anti-world. There's also quite a bit of German in the song as well towards the end. Nina's vocals were, of course, quite eccentric and wild shrieking and it did sound like she was possessed by this demon. I also found the overall production of this track to be quite intriguing. It's um it's more dark. It's like dark rock, I guess, if that's even a genre. <laughs> it's like back in the day people thought rock music was the devil's work or something. Rock music was generally considered worldly, sinful and satanic and parents told their children to keep away from its influences. Rock music is considered a gateway to a world filled with illicit sex, drugs, and Satanism. Please pray for me, Father. I'm going to hell. Anyway though, let's move on to track two, Smack Jack. I feel like I should light a candle for this video. For ambience. That was track two, Smack Jack. My neighbors are like, what the fuck is he listening to? <laughs> Her voice reminds me of the voice actress from The Exorcist. <laughs> it was like, it actually was like a demon whispering into my ear the entire time. I guess shrieking is a better word. You are always running out and you are always running short. Nothing matters anymore. All you want is go and score. No one starts with two a day, but they all seem to end that way. Shoot it up, Smack Jack. Shoot it up, Smack Jack. It's a drag with a monkey on your back, Smack Jack. The devil's got its hooks on you. You are racing his clock. His plastic paradise won't last. You've got a no future and no past. Anyone can see you are hell's excuse me. Hell is full of lies. When I read some of the lyrics to these songs, I feel like I'm reading some sort of spell. The song deals with a drug addiction and is actually written by Hagen's Dutch ex-boyfriend who was a heroin addict and later died of AIDS in 1988. Anyway though, let's move on to track three. Tiachi Taro?
That was track three, Tachi Taro. And if Satan ever had a playlist, I imagine it would sound like this album. But let's move on to track four, Dread Love. What does non-sex monk rock even mean? <sighs> anyway, let's move on to track 5, Future Is Now. I won't lie, this album is a little exhausting to listen to, at least for me. It's like if Reagan from The Exorcist made an album when she was possessed. <laughs> I will say though, it's a very, very, very engaging album. It's very, I mean, I don't need to tell you, it's just different, it's wild, it's scary as fuck, but um, I mean, I'm very intrigued by it. But anyway, let's move on to track six, Born in Zigzags, I don't know. This is again Radio Yerevan with our new music. Turn on the machine. This is Radio Yerevan, one of Hans Ivanovich. I was born in That was track six, Born in Zigzags, and, um, I'm trying to understand 
some of the stories in these songs when it comes to the lyrics, but obviously I am struggling. <laughs> I mean, she is touching on religion and um, there might be some sort of political undertones to some of these songs as well. There's going to be a big disaster. It's gonna be World War number three. There's gonna be a war or something I know already. I know it already. I can feel it though already. Moscow's going to become one day we will be free. Washington's gonna be number two. Big, big, big disaster is gonna come. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> I was born in zigzags on my mama's farm. My father was a junkie. My brother was a soldier by the war in Vietnam. My uncle was a spy in the Soviet Union. So, I mean, I don't know anything about her. Is this just a story she's telling? Anyway, though, let's move on to track seven, Icky Maska. track 7, Icky Masca, and I will say, I am liking the production on this album. These aren't really songs where I can sit through their entirety from beginning to end. I don't know, like I said already, this music just isn't for me. <laughs> but let's move on to track 8, Dr. Art. <laughs> That was track 8, Dr. Art, and at times, Nina's vocals remind me of Grace Jones. That more deep, lower register, that more ominous, um, sound, I guess. Get higher yourself, baby, because I love you forever and ever. There's something wrong with you. The first real change, you, a revolution, you, a believer. Revolution, revolution. I am his prophet, Dr. Rat is dead, he's my lover, chosen one, I am the chosen one. Let's move on to track 9, Cosmic Shiva. That was track 9, Cosmic Shiva, and actually, Cosma Shima is the name of Nina's daughter, who actually grew up to be a German-American actress and voice actress. Let's move on to track 10, UFO. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
That was track 10, UFO. And I did like the production on this track. It's one of the least um, chaotic songs on the album, I guess. The UFOs are picking us up. The UFOs are picking us up. Earthquake in Los Angeles. Earthquake in Los Angeles. Smoke Alarm, Los Angeles. Smog Alarm, Los Angeles. The UFO did it. Let's fly with heart and soul. Now there are technically four more tracks on the album. So I guess these are tracks from when she was part of the Nina Hagen band before she went solo. The tracks are called White Punks on Dope, Superboy, African Reggae, and Lucky Number. Now those four tracks weren't originally included on the standard edition of this album. The standard edition of this album did end with track 10, UFO. I did briefly check out those four tracks, and I really don't think I need to listen to them on camera for you guys. And to be honest, I think I'm done. <laughs> so that was Non-Sex Monk Rock by Nina Hagen. Wow. Wow. It's like Kate Bush meets Grace Jones meets Yoko Ono. Throw those three in a blender and you get Nina Hagen. A very frightening and deranged album. It's quite scary at times. It really is. Um, but it's also... I mean, it is quite artistic as well, what she did with her voice. Um, it was like she was possessed by a demon. It was very um, demonic. I did like the production of this album though. I do think lyrically she touches on, of course, religion and there are political undertones to her lyrics, I find. I'm glad I sat down and listened to this album, but it is not an album I would revisit again, 100%. It's not my aesthetic, it's not my genre, it's not my cup of tea. The album did receive mixed reviews from music critics. While some praised Nina's theatrical vocals, other criticized its experimental production. I don't know, like, I didn't mind the production. Um, but Rolling Stone did call it the most unlistenable album ever made which I really wouldn't go that far. I won't lie though, it was a little difficult for me to sit through at times. I did find at times it was a bit headache inducing, at least for me anyway. So what did you guys think of this album and what are your impressions of it? And I guess it's safe to say that this will probably be the only Nina Hagen video I will do on my channel. I'm just not really interested in checking out the rest of her work. After listening to this album, I need to watch Bambi or <laughs> take a walk in the park, sunshine, unicorns, daisies. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. You can find me on Twitter and you can find me on Instagram. You can message me, you can say, hey, how are you? And I will see you next time. <sighs> take care.